Why Clemson? Why did you come to Clemson to, to start a program from scratch? Oh my gosh, it's just such an incredible opportunity. Um, a gymnastics program of this caliber hasn't been started since Arkansas did it about 20 years ago. And um, for me in my career, I've always really enjoyed doing things that haven't been done. So when this opportunity presented itself and I started to look into it and saw the, the amazing athletic tradition, the amazing academics, and then when I actually got out here and saw the amazing area, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is, this is just an incredible opportunity. So um, I couldn't pass it up. You know, seeing your, your, your signing class. Yeah. You know, you know all of those people. <laughs> but, but for people, this, you're starting from scratch and you think, wow, it's going to be a long time before we're competitive. But this allows you to maybe be competitive a little more early than people would think, Correct. right? Correct. Those six coming here really expedite a lot of things. And, you know, I've got a senior, I've got a junior, and I've got four sophomores. So that really helps my roster in terms of, of padding that when we and getting a really nice supporting cast sure. for them to work with. Um, on top of that, too, what I'm really excited about them coming is expediting the culture because those six know exactly what myself and associate head coach Eric Lewis will, um, what goes and what doesn't go. So to have those six really lay that foundation um, and just know the ins and outs of us, I think, like I said, is really going to expedite the process and just give a really, really strong foundation to start from. Fans may be surprised the passion for gymnastics. I know Georgia, Auburn, they're selling out their basketball arenas. Talk about some of those things and what comes to fans have to look forward to. Oh my gosh, gymnastics, college gymnastics is such an amazing product. And it's, it's continued to grow, you know, SEC with their Friday Night Heights and all of that, getting that coverage and, and having this really great product for TV has really helped the sport grow. And I, you know, in Clemson adding this, I'm hoping that more schools are gonna follow suit and do that because it is such, it, it's so exciting to go to a meet. It's not like watching the Olympics where it's all quiet. I mean, it is loud, it is high energy, and it is an experience. And I'm so excited to bring that to Little John and, and sell sell out and get those Clemson fans in there and see it because, it, like I said, it's so different in person to watch it. And the athletes are phenomenal. Like, what they do is just absolutely incredible. How do you sell Clemson and a new program to recruits? Well, it's kind of what I just said at the beginning of, of you look at this rich athletic tradition, um, incredible academics, and then this beautiful area of South Carolina. And, I mean how exciting to make history like this team that signed they're they're already making history and to be able to to pave the way and be trailblazers on this like you know that's not for everybody but i'm gonna find those kids that that excites them and they want to be a part of this and i i mean i literally get chills <laughs> talking about it because i that's that's i i just love the idea and the concept sure. of that how fortunate are you to have some like the transfer portal when I mean there's good and bad things with it, right? But yeah. with the program starting from scratch to just be able to bring in maybe some accomplished gymnasts. Yeah, you know, I, I think if this would have yeah. if this opportunity yeah. would have presented yeah. itself five years yeah. ago, yeah. it would have been a different story. It would have it I couldn't say we're going to come out of the gates really strong. And I really do feel like we can come out of the gates strong due to the transfer portal, you know, having that foundation of those six other other programs um, having teams that have large rosters due to COVID that's kind of a little silver lining of COVID too of, of kind of seeing you know really talented gymnasts that maybe aren't getting to compete at other teams that would come into the portal and be like oh man I could go to Clemson in 24 and and get out of the gates really strong so you know, like I said, five years ago, the way recruiting was, we were recruiting eighth graders. So the landscape of coming into this was completely bare. And that's that's not the case now. So um, very confident in building the roster and, and feel like we're off to a really strong start and just really excited to, to get going on it. Gentlemen, I'm sorry, I need to call her. Oh, no.